welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Aya Shardai and if you are new here, make sure you click that red subscribe button down below. And not only click the red subscribe button, but turn on your notifications. So if you are already are subscribed, thanks so much. Make sure you have clicked that notification bell as well because now YouTube wants us to let our followers and everyone know on YouTube if you want to be notified when someone uploads a YouTube video, you have to click the notification little bell and that will allow you to know by emailing you and definitely notifying you when you do get on your YouTube app or on your desktop. We're going to be learning all about highlighters and blushes. So if you want to learn certain tips and tricks with how I apply my highlighters and blushes, stay tuned. And what I've been doing every Saturday of this December is breaking down every step with my foundation routine. Instead of having a long foundation routine just showing me how I apply my makeup, I've been breaking down all about primers was my first video. So you would understand about large pores, how to apply a primer. So definitely check those videos out. But today is the next step I usually do, which is highlighters and blush. And what I like to do is break down the different sections, let you know ahead of time so you know how to follow me as I go through the video. The breakdown one is gonna be all about understanding what highlighter is. What is highlighter? What is this highlighter on fleek? If you will <laughs> and then breakdown two is just going to break down what highlighters will be best for your skin tone because there are certain highlighters that are best for your skin tone then we're going to break down three with talking about blushes we're going to understand what blush is why you want to wear a blush and we're going to do what breakdown four which is going to break down what blush is for you okay, and then we're going to end with the last breakdown just being a demo of showing you how i actually apply my highlighter and my blush of choice so let's get into breakdown one what is a highlighter so with highlighter what you need to know is when you're using the highlighter you're just allowing the natural spots of where your face is naturally getting the light that's hitting off of it to be seen that's really what you're doing it's really awesome because you really bring it out that natural glow that was already there if you are in natural beat form is what i call it with no makeup products on just skincare you will actually see your natural glow areas and that's where you would glow after you apply that foundation because apply foundation is great because you did the same even canvas color texture but you have to reconstruct because now your face is flat and you got to redefine it you got to add definition and depth to make sure it is to the liking of before or better which i say because you really all you're doing makeup is enhancing what's already there where do you highlight okay is the next question so you highlight again where the light fixtures usually hit your face yeah. eyebrow bone now why you highlight your eyebrow bone you highlight there because that actually creates the illusion of a lifted eyebrow so if you want your eyebrow to look more lifted then you will highlight there. now the next region is we'll say tear ducts area you do that because what that does is it brightens up your eye it allows your eye to look more open. I love to add like a shimmery shadow there because most highlighters are of a, it's really just a reflector kind of substance. So the next spot normally where I highlight is my cheekbones. So cheekbones and going in to the temple area as well, forehead and all that. But I usually highlight in those regions and I will show you in a demo how I highlight and where I stop because it is a particular way where you want to stop and where you want to go. Now I also highlight in my cupid's bow. Again, so the not the light naturally hits and I know sometimes it looks weird, but it really just makes your lip look more plumped. I also highlight on my bridge and going a little bit into my forms of the highlighter. So the highlighters can be in a form of a cream cream or liquid finish. And I definitely have one here. This is the NYX Liquid Eliminator Born to Glow Gleam, the Gleam version. It can also be in a compact or a more cream, this cream kind of soft strobing effect. So when it comes to strobing, real quick, strobing is just another way of saying just using highlighters and not contouring. So you're taking out contouring as a whole and just using highlighters. So I like to break it down with the best highlighters for each skin tone. So I like to go for fair skin, then medium, then deep dark skin tones. Let's 
jump right in. So if you have fair skin, lean more towards highlighters that have more of a icy looking silver champagne sheen kind of color. And that's just going to bring out the natural highlight. Like I said, the highlight is just the natural glow that's coming through your skin. When it comes to skin tones like myself, that's more medium, such as a peachy or gold tone, rose gold or bronzy type of highlighter. Let's dive right into blushes. Breakdown three. Okay, so when it comes to blushes, all you really need to know is blush is a formula that, that was created to add warmth to your face. Blush is supposed to be on top of your contouring area or bronzing area, especially right in, you know, when you, which is where your blush is right here and going up. And why is because it balances out that that contouring or that shadow effect there. Right? Elf Quad, because um, it's so amazing. And this is the dark uh, blush palette from Elf Cosmetics. Here it has a little bit of sparks in it. Um, like glitter effect. There's blushes that do that. There's even blushes that, um, or bronzers, I should say, that you can actually use um, as well as a blush. So the next breakdown, and let's break down the different blushes that are gonna go best with your skin tone, as well as under them. You want to use a blush that, first blush I'll mention is a pink blush, but not just any old pink blush. You wanna use a more of a baby, or pale tone pink blush, a peachy tone blush is more of a neutral color. So it can pretty much go with any skin tone, but stand with fair. Fair, you want to get something that's more of a sheer kind of finish. Like what you wanna do is you want to apply your finger to the blush and then place it on your back of your hand. And if it is too heavy or chalky, then that's not what you want. You want a sheer finish, and sheer just means very light application. Just enough pigment on your skin, but not so heavy where it's overpowering or ca causing no crown effect. Blush, if you want to be a little, little daring, <laughs> is more of like a plum, plum-like color tone. So for a medium skin tone, one blush that is more of like a subtle for us, and just brings some warmth, but just enough warmth, doesn't really give a dramatic feel to it. It is more of an apricot blush. I love using mauve, mauve, oh, blushes are so amazing. Like the blush that I'm gonna show in the video is more to me like a mauve kind of color. And like fall and winter for me, I would say from my experience with fall and winter, I like to wear more berry, uh, more um, berry blushes because, um. I'm trying to get that natural flush look that it would look like if I was in out in the snow. In the okay, so for darker, for deep darker skin tones, let's see, raisin uh, shade of blush is really perfect because it gives you that good color pigment that you need, that flush color that blends so well with your contour and gray bridge for your highlighter. Another blush that you can also wear is a brick blush. And brick is like more of like a brown, more in a brown family, but it's really awesome. And that's why it would be even great to use for even contouring. Now let's move along to the breakdown for the demo. And right now you're just seeing me apply my liquid highlighter from NYX in Gleam on my cheekbone area. And this is just at the high peak where the light naturally hits. And this is an overall cool tone look. So ideally you want a silver or frosty highlight but for my skin tone, I need more of a peach or gold. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix Champagne Pop on top as you saw, and then I'm gonna put my blush, which is Romantic Rose, more of a soft muted mauve blush on top, just to blend it out. Then I'm gonna go back into that Morphe 350 palette that has some gold shimmers and mix it together. And that's just gonna give me the undertone highlighter that I need, but it's going to blend perfectly because it has a little bit of that frosty look with this cool tone overall look. And that's just a little tip that you can use if you may not be able to use gold for every look for a highlighter, but you still kind of have to use it because of your undertone. And if you have your highlight too strong, you can always go back with a damp sponge to correct it. And then I'm setting it as so with my setting spray. 
so much for watching, everyone. I hope you loved it. And if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and definitely share this video with everyone you know. And I definitely want to hear your thoughts about blush and highlighters. If you learned anything new from this video, give it in the comment box and definitely look out for next Saturday video, which will be all about setting setting sprays and why is that so important that will actually conclude my foundation routine but comment below also what videos you want to see um in the new year but if you're new here make sure you subscribe and definitely turn on my notifications so you will know when i upload a new video every time Mwah! love you guys bye